Hello everyone, what's up? Ida Wheat coming back to you with another exciting video of Catan. Let's go! Okay, we go first again. Nice. Take a look at the board. We see 6 and 8 for ore and the 12. So, um, two good spots. 9, 6, 4 and 3 for wheat. So, all kinds of numbers. Sheep has a 4, 5, 9 and 10. Quite good. Brick is uh, a bit on the suffering side with a 2, 3 and a 5. And wood has a 8, 10 and double 11. Okay, not bad, quite average. So what do you think? Feel free to pause the video here and leave a comment with your choice. For me, the best looking spot is the 569. Highest production, good wheat, good, uh, good ore, good brick. So um, yeah, not much of a choice. Green says as much, beautiful starting spot, that's true. Black picks the 348, the other good ore, pointing down to the ports. These positions are very similar, we just have a bit uh, of a better production. Black says, yeah, for sure, the best spot. Yeah, that's true, I agree. Purple takes the 5810 with uh, the best wood and a good uh, sheep and green first settles on the 348 and then the 369 okay they have uh, everything except ore purple finishes with a 4511 also without ore but uh, both green and purple are pointing towards this uh, 6 ore so uh, they might get there later Black takes the 2, 9, 10 with the free road and um, threatening to plow green. So, difficult decision here. <laughs> Black says sorry green. Yeah, um, we need sheep and wood and there's only a 411 that has all that. And um, I don't know, I don't think I want to go here on the 411. We get sheep on, uh, on our first settlement, hopefully, probably. So, um, I don't know, maybe block uh, green and purple from getting to the ore and make them dependent on on us to trade. Hmm, could be an idea. What do you guys think? Will this work as intended? Let's hope so. Good luck, have fun to everyone. And the game is on with a six. Another six, okay. Got a lot of ore. Black plows green. Now an eight. Purple circles back, and the nine. So, uh, whoa, green wants three ore for a city probably. I'm a bit tempted to take this, but I need a city myself. So how do I do this? Orange chilling with six stone, it's actually five. And uh, that's the issue. If I had six, that would have been nice. Orange, can I get three off you? No, not really. I need a city. Hmm, this is this is still good because we get that rare sheep, but uh, I wanted to go under 8 cards, but that's not possible. Okay, now we could get a city and a death card. Let's see if green wants to do it. Uh, I cannot give to ore. The whole point is that I need an ore for uh, popping a dev. Yeah, anyway, city on the 569 is, uh, is very good in the beginning, so uh, now we can expect to get blocked a lot until we get uh, some knights. Six already being blocked. Robbing us of three ore, plus the one that was stolen. Now five. Mm, do we build a road here? I'm a bit afraid of purple. Maybe we hold. Purple is dangerous. Just don't trade on sheep. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. We need that first sheep to settle. And black manages to settle on the port. And now a two gives black a couple of brick. Let's see if green does this. A two for one. Okay, they give us a sheep and wheat for ore. In order to drop a city. Yeah, on the 369. And now another two. Wow. Extreme dice rolls. Consecutive twos. Uh, 
dropping a road heal is risky, but uh, so is passing with 6 cards in hand. No one is willing to give us the road settle it seems. Well, they don't have it. They, I think they have it, right? But um, let's build the road and hope we get there before purple. Now at 10. Uh, let's see if black wants to do this. Hmm. Come on, we actually just need the wood. Purple says don't wait, orange please. And black listens and they use the port instead. Now another 5 and purple gets there. We lose the race, sadly. Okay, now that uh, we lost, maybe they're more willing to trade. Yeah, that would have been so good and we wasted the road as well. Wall Street trading right here. Everyone is trying to, uh, to get the best deal. Let's see if we can get the uh, road settle on the same turn. Okay, we'll take this with green. And road settle for uh, more wood to produce ourselves and uh, that should make life easier. Now another 9, we only have wheat in hand. Black drops a city as well on the 348. Why would help an orange so easily? What do you mean easily? I had to fight to get all those trades. Need my city. Black is better. And um, I think green as well. Green uses the sheep port. And the road. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, yeah, green is also better because um, they have ports. We are on the same number of points, but I already got plowed and um, they have ports. It's a weird dynamic when the top two help each other and bottom two get stuck. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, that would be a weird dynamic. Green says purple, we got to help each other. Green is playing the victim? Ha ha ha. Doesn't make for a fun game. Lol, just observe, observing game dynamics. Green is actually considering themselves on the bottom. We are all on four points, come on. With a city and a, a settlement. Oh man, this is crazy. Yeah, chat is uh, really funny. But we don't get a trade, so we have to pass. Now a 6, that was a good block. Orange, stop playing us. I'm actually not, that was uh, genuine. Not only, not just table talk, it was actually genuine information. Development opportunities. Zero sheep. That's not a lot of development opportunities. Wait for sheep, yeah. That's that's a good development opportunity. You have one space away from a solid sheep with a trade-in. Is 10 a solid sheep? I'm not sure. But we get our first knight and an 11, giving us a couple of wood. So, um... I literally means meet here when you all block the brick. Another 11, wow, consecutive 11s now. And we use a knight, block the 6 wheat again. Steal a sheep from green, lucky steal. And we get another wood, okay. So um, let's see if we can get something useful here. I don't really want to port away all this wood. Now 5, black drop the second city, and sadly we discard all the wood that we didn't port. So, got a bit punished. Solo block on the 6 Oregon. What? Oh, come on, man. Like, green and black are leading. That's quite obvious. Okay, I don't really know what uh, what's going on in purple's head. I'm actually not in the best position anymore. Another 8. Okay, so 8s have been rolling quite a bit lately. <clears throat> Too many 8s. Yeah. Uh, green is asking for some shady deals. Uh, 
uh, 6 and 11 fills up our hand with ore and wood, but we have to discard. We actually don't need that much wood after settling here, but we steal a wood from green. Another 11. What's going on with the 11th now? And another 6. Purple uses a knight and now blocks the 6 wheat. Finally, seeing the way. Green says orange still leading lol. That's funny. That's funny and objectively wrong. Because uh, 5 is greater than 4. Now 5 rolls and we only need wheat to settle. Or maybe a couple of wheat to settle in city. We require 3 for that. Mm, I'm tempted to take this with green. Don't forget green have the sheep port on 9 and 4, yeah. Hmm, neither heating though. I don't know. Out of time, let's take this and settle. It helps green a lot, but um, whatever. I don't know if um, we should build a road. Yeah, better than passing with 7 cards. We get over 7 anyway with a 9. But now we have another city in hand. There you go. Black drops their third city. And uh, what's wrong with purple asking for these trades? They're going to the brick port and green uses a knight. Blocks the five brick again. And another nine rolls. Got a big hand again. And we didn't discard. Yay! We buy a death for sure, I think, and then we need some port actions. Hmm. Yeah, probably a dev in the city, working for a couple of devs in the city. Monopoly is not a knight, we need a knight to be able to defend. So um, I guess we dev up again? I don't know. Hmm. Chat is going on like crazy. Not trading orange, yeah, I get that. We finally get the knight. Okay, that uh, puts us in the race for the army as well. And I think we pop another dev. We got the army in hand now. And the monopoly for emergency situations. Hmm. More of this uh, trading mania. Black was not successful this time. They still got the dev and the road. And another six. Purple proposes the craziest trades all the time. Okay, and they get it with, uh, with green. Pops a dev and settles on the brick port. Now a ten. Green uses a knight, blocks the nine wheat now, and they actually stole that sweet sheep. My wonderful sheep, no! And the five, now uh, we can mono all the sheep. And I guess we go for a city. We already got the devs, now it's time to city up. And um... I'm actually scared of green because they can take road and army next turn and win with another settlement. So road, army, settlement, yeah, that would propulse them to 10 points. So uh, it's better to secure the road here. Now we have the road secured at least. This game is literally like crap. Hmm. Uh, Black uses year of plenty for uh, brick and ore, settles and pops the dev. Now a 9, which is blocked, and a 3, okay. Green settles, and build a road, setting up for another settlement. Let's use a knight here, block the 6 wheat again. We got an ore, yay! And we got all the ore that we need. Dev, dev, second mono shows up. Ah, this was a perfect hand. GG well played. City up and promote! We actually got promoted. Nice. Journey to the top. 
Four cities and longest road. That's funny. Only one four. Six is an eighth rule this game. A lot of wood. Ten knights. Hmm, we got four. Six, seven. That means everyone else had a knight in hand. Gwyn didn't want to become a target after taking Ladrus army. That's interesting. Activity stats. Purple was never blocked. And resource stats. Purple was also never stolen from. That's cute. Okay, that was the game. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye bye.